Dear Oliver Ferrer, Minister, can I thank you for your statement this afternoon, and I find it very encouraging with your position that you've taken. And can I also thank you for all the support the Welsh Government has given to the steel industry over the years. Um, steel workers in my constituency are very grateful for that support. And as you quite rightly pointed out earlier in your contribution, they are the best in the world, and they have given much to the industry, and now they want the industry to continue honouring their commitment to them and to their families. In relation to your points made, I think it is important that the UK government now takes this opportunity, and I see it as an opportunity, to actually get a steel industry for the United Kingdom, which will provide a foundation for other manufacturing across the country. And this is a chance, I think, for them to step up to the plate and become an active player in the industrial strategy of the UK. I hope they take it. Now, in your statement, you indicated that the funding support from Tata Steel in the future was, is not going to be needed. That's their focus. They want to make it sustainable. But have you had any indication as to when they will continue supporting it and at what point they expect to be self-sustaining? so that we are, have at least a target we can look towards in ensuring that the industry becomes sustainable. Um, also, on the decarbonisation agenda, everyone talks about hydrogen, and that is some years down the line that the technology is not quite there yet. But one thing that is available is carbon capture and storage. And are you looking at further re research and development in that area to ensure that there's a possibility of decarbonising the industry, in Potorba in particular? because clearly that's where the heavy end is and that's where the large carbon emissions would be. Have you had good discussions with your colleague in the cabinet, Leslie Griffiths, regarding the emissions trading scheme, which is being put into place replacing mm -hmm. the European emissions trading scheme to ensure that this is not going to be detrimental to the steel industry in the future, and that the UK model will be very supportive and usable for the UK steel sector. Um, we talk about skills and the separation of the businesses into a Dutch component and the UK component. And we do know that the elements are currently based in Holland because they did go from Batalbert over to <laughs> Holland now indeed, and the sales. What discussions will you be having for the skills agenda to ensure those come back? And how are you working with the research development, particularly Swansea, because I know that Tata work with Swansea and Warwick, but particularly Swansea and the Steel and Metals Institute to ensure that that's the centre for R&D for steel in the UK, and it becomes critical for Tata to work with them. Can you bring you to, you to the conclusion? I will, be, I will conclude, but I, I'm sure you're aware that, you, uh, that, you're enough that this is critical to my constituency and my work. My, yeah, my absolutely. My work there. Final point, though, is yeah, but there's a lot of talk about levelling up by the UK government. You mentioned your press release on Friday that the First Minister was seeking a, a phone call with the Prime Minister. Has he returned that phone call and has he agreed to make sure the level up applies to Wales and the steel sector as well as anywhere else? Okay. Can I thank uh, Dagrys for his questions and so that he is a powerful and passionate advocate for Port Talbot and for the steel sector as a whole in Wales. And I very much welcome his contribution today. And I would agree with him that uh, this does present the UK government with, um, with an enormous opportunity to demonstrate a commitment, a true commitment to levelling up, but also to secure what I think is a nationally strategic interest uh, for the United Kingdom. I think steel is important to our national security. I don't think it's possible to imagine a scenario where, as we reach the end of the transition period, we could possibly tolerate the idea that steel making could be lost from the United Kingdom. That is simply unimaginable. And the UK government can therefore take this opportunity to guarantee that we will have a viable, secure future for the sector across the United Kingdom. And there are many, many opportunities I've already outlined in terms of uh, procurement as well, with demand purely within the UK estimated to almost double over the course of this decade. Huge opportunities if procurement is sorted to make sure that we capture as much of the uh, uh, public spend as possible for UK steel operations. And I'm working with uh, Tata and also I have to say with community, I had a very, very good discussion, constructive discussion with Roy Rickhouse today at community. Uh, I can say that uh, we are perfectly aligned with the community union. Uh, there is not a cigarette paper between us in terms of our belief 
in the sector, our commitment to Tata, our desire to make sure that uh, steel in the UK has a strong and viable future. And we're going to be working together with Tata in understanding exactly what the move towards becoming self-sustaining means and how that can be reached and when it will be reached. Um, carbon capture could have an important role in terms of meeting our obligations on carbon emissions. And uh, in terms of the emissions trading scheme, um, Deputy Clawith, I, I'm afraid I could talk for quite some time about the ETS, but uh, I'll just say that- No, I don't think Welsh, so. The Welsh government, working with the UK government and obviously other devolved administrations um, has developed that uh, UK emissions trading scheme. It's gonna operate as a standalone scheme or it's gonna to link to the EU ETS. And the legislation is now in place for that scheme to become operational on the 1st of January, 2021. That's vitally important. And then finally, um, in terms of um, uh, further support that could be brought forward in terms of research and development, there is obviously the Swansea Bay City deal and Swansea University um, has proposals to further develop steel expertise in Wales through the city deal. And in terms of the phone call, I am not aware that that phone call has taken place yet, um, but I will inform members as and when it happens. Thank you. Susie Davis. Uh, Deal, Minister, I was very pleased to hear you open with the comments on the skills base of 